Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10, live at 5, is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for a social spotlight as we check the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up. Some Ohio colleges are receiving failing grades. And also, more on Avenue Q. We'll catch up on today's hottest trends in social media. And we'll check out, with, check out in on your Borg sport, Sports. <laughs> Don't touch that remote. WHEI New Center 10 Live at 5 starts now. Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5 for Wednesday, October 15th, 2014. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. Let's get to our first. When a group of teenagers were injured in a car accident 35 years ago, Trop rushed to help by donating blood. Ever since that fateful event, Jerry has made it his mission to continue donating blood. And this coming Saturday, he will receive recognition for donating 25 gallons. In addition to donating himself, he has also encouraged others to do the same as he organized a partnership between the Red Cross and the church that he is a member of. When the Beacon Journal's Colette Jenkins asked Schropp why he was so active in this area, he replied, I kept giving because I can. I want help and I want to make a difference. American History composition, economics, literature, science. If any of these subjects sound foreign to you, chances are your university did not receive a passing grade from the American Council of Trustees and Alumni. According to the Plain Dealer, of the 38 universities assessed by the What Will They Learn program, not a single one received an A. Even though some colleges on the list received some B ratings, the fact that majority of Ohio higher learning institutions are not featuring the seven basic subjects lead many to wonder where all the tax and tuition money is being geared towards. A week after Dallas resident Thomas Duncan passed from Ebola, one of the nurses who cared for him was tested positive. According to WTOL, the nurse, 29-year-old Amber Vinson, flew from Dallas via a Frontier Airlines flight that took off from Hopkins International Airport and most recently landed in Cleveland. After Vincent visited her family in Cleveland, she got on another plane and is currently in an isolation unit at a hospital in Texas. The plane Vincent flew on is currently grounded to be disinfected. The CDC urges anyone who may have come into contact with Amber Vincent to undergo quarantine. On Tuesday, Wood County's Department of Job and Family Services expanded their facilities by 10,000 square feet. The director of Wood County's DJFS, Dave Wingett, said the building lacked the adequate room to allow employees and families to meet for interviews and visits. Now, with ample amount of space, Wood County DJFS employees will have more interaction as well as improved security measures. With the grant, the Department of Job and Family Services has completed renovations are projected to debut in August of 2015. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. Hi, I'm Enya Granados and you're watching WHEB 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Did you see Avenue Q? I heard it's going to be a good show. Uh so where are you going to be next? Well, I'm on stage every night. Ah, uh, how many right. As many times as you want, don't you? Uh, what did you do yesterday? I went to Avenue Q. 
It was so much fun! Me hope you come to see show. It good, especially with her. Ah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Cameron Jones, I'm president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. When you come to Heidelberg for one thing and that's to learn, I feel like it's a great way to get out there to learn about other cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 6.15 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Welcome back to New Center 10, live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, is a great opportunity for student athletes, other students, and coaches to come together in a relaxed atmosphere to talk about faith in sports and in their lives. FCA also uses their abilities and resources to better serve our campus and community. FCA will be meeting tonight in Sour Wine 232 at 8 p.m. led by Paul Stark. Feel free to stop by if you would like to talk about the heart and soul in sports. Heidelberg University's music department has been preparing for their upcoming performance. The cast of Avenue Q will have opening night on October 23rd at 8 p.m. It will run through the 26th with the final performance at 2 p.m. Associate Professor and Director of the Theater, Chris Tucci, gives us an exclusive look. There we go. Avenue Q is about a young boy or young man who's just graduated from college and he's trying to find his purpose in life and he shows to live on Avenue Q. Check out the link on heidelberg.edu for more details. Greek Life Fall New Member Education or NME bid night is happening tonight from 9 p.m. to 1159 p.m. This is the opportunity for prospective new Greek members to receive a bid from any of the Greek groups that the prospective has shown interest in. Bid extension is an, a special night for Greek life and those expecting bids. After bids are extended, there will be a silence period in which active Greek members will not be allowed to talk about Greek life to prospective Greeks. Prospective Greeks will have from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. on October 23rd to accept a bid from a group. The Greek Life Bid Acceptance Ceremony will take place from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Gunlock Theater. For further information, contact Greek Life at heidelberg.edu. Go Greek! That's all we have for Berg's Campus News today. We'll get into the latest news from the social media and sports world next. News Center 10, live at 5. We'll be right back. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student Programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. The School of Music and Theater presents Avenue Q in Gunlock Theater, October 23rd through the 25th at 8 p.m. and October 26th at Humans and puppets interact in this tale of 20-somethings learning how to live and love in New York City. Think Sesame Street with adult themes, humor, and song. For more information, go to facebook.com backslash Heidelberg Theater. In the heart of Heidelberg's campus lies the Fireside Pub, featuring a relaxing and engaging space welcome to the public. Fireside's menu includes sandwiches, salads, wraps, desserts, and even a soothing latte or coffee, offering a wide selection of exciting new and wholesome food options. Fireside Cafe Pub also serves a variety of refreshing drinks to accompany its cozy atmosphere. Come experience Fireside's new fall menu and visit us on Instagram at Berg Dining Services. Parents sure have their hands full, and they could use an extra hand. Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your 
sports hero, or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may qualify based on your family size and income. It's one less thing to worry about. Call or go online for more information. And welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trying in the world of social media. Walt Disney, the creator of California's Magical Park, formed an alliance with the Children's Hospital of Orange County in 1990 to aid in the hospital's construction and funding. This relationship has continued each year through a very exciting event, as this past Sunday marked the date of the annual Chalk Walk at Disneyland in California. The Children's Hospital of Orange County, or Chalk for short, uses the park for a 5K fundraiser every October, which participants start lining up for at 3 in the morning. Although the sun may not be out at that time to warm the area or provide any light, walkers still arrive by the thousands to donate and stroll through the park. This chalk walk is more than just an average 5K. It begins with a fireworks show, and walkers have the opportunity to watch performers, hear bands, and even take selfies with the Disney characters. This weekend's event raised over $2 million. Today is Wednesday, which means it's time for our social segment with Scotty C. Let's check it out. I'm Scott Carpenter, and you're in Campus Social Time with Scotty C. Welcome to another Scotty Social segment, ladies and gentlemen. And today, I'm with the one and only person on campus that could possibly dress as good as me, Dan Klish. How's it going, Scotty? Living life. Living good. life. We're gonna good. take it. We're gonna take a stab at late night here, so we'll see how it goes. All right. I Ready? can do that. All right. I'll explain you what's going on. We have five seconds to describe the note cards in front of us. They're labeled with popular movies. We have five seconds to describe them without using the title or the actor's name. Just playing for pride. Playing There's for no pride. Money, except for that twenty time behind. But anyway. Right. <laughs> so playing for pride. We have got to open these cards. The last round, we only get three seconds to describe. All right. Them. We've got three rounds. All right. Dan, you're first. All right, you ready? Here we go. You ready for this? We do this as a team. Um, life is like a box of chocolates. Forrest Gump. Yes. Yeah. That one's down. I think we got that before the timer yeah, we went did. off. Okay, ready? Here we go. Um, what happens in blank stays in um, Vegas? Um, Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Las Vegas? Yeah, what happens in Vegas stays I'm not in Vegas. a commercial. I'm trying to describe a movie. I didn't do very good, though. Uh, Take a stab um, at it. Uh, I want to say Hangover. What happens in Fight Club stays yeah, in Fight Club. Yeah, see, I tried. The first rule. You should have just said the first rule. Oh, that's true. That's true. <sighs> you know, I, don't, don't hate me, but I've never seen that movie. You've never seen that movie? Oh, seen my Fight goodness. Club. You've got to watch it. It's a, yeah. it's a mind-blowing movie. <laughs> I, I almost had a few choice words there, but I'm lucky I, I didn't uh, use Yeah, those. there you go. Catch it on camera. <laughs> All right, we got to redeem ourselves. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, there's dwarves. Um, Lord of the Rings. Nope. Uh, there's seven of them. Oh. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, seven dwarves? <laughs> <laughs> no. Cinderella? No. Who's the Rapunzel? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Frozen? Snow White. Oh, Snow God. White. Frozen? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying, man. Disney's not God. my thing. You've you got to watch you Disney, You could quote dude. Lion King. I could tell you the quote, but Disney's, not, Disney's not my thing. All right, we're getting past. we got to get to at least 500. Yeah. Here we, we go. Uh, love. Uh, nope. True movie. That, yeah, true movie. Okay. <laughs> well, you almost gave it away. I did. Notebook. But, uh, I've well, never, I, that's a movie I've never seen. Really? Yeah. So you've never had the girlfriend that makes you see it? No, I tell them it's not the kind of thing that I do. Yeah, don't, I mean, take your time because it's one of those. Anyway, All right, here we go. We've got, Three seconds only. We've got two left. Three seconds only. We got to get, we got to get good here. Gotta All right, are you two. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Um, Zac Efron. Uh, high School oh, Musical? Crap, I couldn't use names. Oh, you I screwed that one up. <laughs> I screwed that one up. We're losing by default here. Here we go. Yep. Redemption. All right. Redemption. One more. 
<laughs> yeah. You had one, one roll, <laughs> Dan. You had one roll. No, there's more than one roll. There's two rolls. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, superhero, where's the flag? Uh, Captain America. There we go. We yes. are on a good note. All right, Dan, how's the stab at late night? It was good. Uh, I like this. It's something yeah. that we could, you should do on a regular basis, or rather, you should do on a regular basis. Seems how this is your segment. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you ever want me back, just let me know. Hey, it's, you can get somebody else that looks good in a suit. I'll take him, but I think All we right. look pretty sharp. Yeah, we do. All right. So that's our stab at late night at late night uh, show here. Until next time, Heidelberg. We'll see you around. Thank you for tuning in to another Scotty C social segment. Take care, Heidelberg. Well, that's all we have for our social spotlight segment tonight. Now let's send it back over to the desk, Elizabeth and Stacy. Thanks, Ashley. So, how do you think we would do with our very own, you know, how about that very late evening show at Heidelberg University? I would do terrible because I don't know movies that well. Sad to say. We could I do don't get to go other, to the movies very often. We could do any other type, literature or world map, anything. I feel like you could have some redeeming qualities okay. there if we had okay. to get down to maybe, it. Maybe maybe not geography either. <laughs> well, let's um, take a look what's out. something maybe I'm good honest. at? Maybe like like pop culture, like like who is somebody dating or sounds good. Pop culturey things. Okay. Stay tuned. Maybe you'll see it next week. <laughs> it's time to throw it over to Margaret to take a look at today's top sports stories. <laughs> The Heidelberg's men's basketball team officially starts their season this Saturday with a practice starting at midnight. The team has long anticipated the arrival of this day and is excited to start preparing for their first game. The first game of the season will take place in on November 15th at 5.30 following the home football game. The team is very excited for this season and is confident that this year will be one to remember. It is hopeful that the student princes will be victorious this season talking the upperclassmen the new guys um you know after they play open gym how things are going out there they seem to uh, feel really confident and like you said have an excitement um because of the talent that's in the gym i think this saturday Burke football takes on the mount union purple raiders kickoff is scheduled for 1 30 p.m in alliance Mike Hallett anticipates a sharp practice week as they prepare for the Raiders. Last year, the student princes challenged the Raiders while at home battle. The Berg fell to 44 to 34. Coach Hallett looks to change this outcome this year. We've got to be great in coverage and we have to be great at tackling. Uh, those are going to be things that we've got to we've got to make sure we're on on point with those things. Defensively, they're very fast, they're very aggressive. We've got to take advantage of the windows of opportunity that we have there in the run game and the pass game. Uh, expose some of the things we see in coverage that we think we can get the ball to our guys quickly and let them get off and get running. Defense will bring the win back to Tiffin for the student princes. Berg fans interested in attending the game can purchase tickets on Mount Union's website for eight dollars. We wish our student princes the best of luck this Saturday. That's all we have for Berg, Berg Sports tonight. Now let's send it back to Stacy and Elizabeth. Thanks, Margaret. So it's fall break for the students, but yes. um, hopefully a lot of fans can still make their way up to Alliance to support the team for the game on Saturday, oh, the football game, because it's going to be a good game. Mount Union is one of our biggest rivals. It's the, one of the biggest games of the year. Um, hopefully we can redeem ourselves from last year. Definitely. And, Yes, it's a very big game, and I'm I'm confident the way that you know the team's been going. There's no reason why we can't you know suppress the record last year and just really pull this one out. I think yeah. we'll have a pretty good chance. Yeah, so. unfortunately, I have to go home this weekend, uh, but I will definitely be on Twitter all day okay, Saturday okay. to be checking updates from all my friends who I'm sure will be at the game. Of so. course. When we return, I'll be there for you. My name is Zane Ashball. I'm Toby Minster. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Hi, my name is 
is Ocean Gray, and I just love California raisins. At our house, we eat California raisins on our cereal for breakfast, out of hand for lunch, and as an after-school snack. And good health starts with good nutrition. What better way than with all-natural California raisins? They're fat and cholesterol-free, low in sodium, with no added sugar. Of all the musicals hatched in the post-2000 age, Avenue Q has remained the freshest and funniest. Avenue Q is still one of the hippest theatrical destinations. The Tony Award-winning musical remains as sharp and funny as ever. Winner of the Tony Triple Crown. Best book, best score, and best musical. We hope to see you on Avenue Q. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him life. And I chose adoption. Welcome back to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Let's get to our last story of the night. The wait is finally almost over, as all 10 seasons of Friends will be available to stream on Netflix starting in January 2015. And by all 10 seasons, we mean all 236 episodes that ran on NBC from 1994 all the way to 2004. This crowd-pleasing decision is thanks to a licensing deal Netflix landed with Warner Brothers Studios, which both companies announced last week. After over a decade since the series finale ended, fans of Friends can excitedly exclaim, it's about time. Wow, Friends. Uh, not only Friends, but, you know, Gilmore Girls, I heard, is getting on there, and so many shows that Nef Netflix has not added but they're planning you know projecting to add pretty soon here so oh my gosh I'm, I'm excited. so excited yes I'm, I'm very so excited I uh, probably not very good for my GPA and my oh, artwork no. but no. very excited for me exactly that's how they get you they're pretty good at that thanks for watching WHEI News Center 10 live at 5 our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. Be sure to turn in tomorrow for our next. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. And for Margaret, Ashley, and all of the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching. <laughs>